this is a continuation of our previous tutorial where we are dealing with Raspberry Pi and Arduino serial communication. Now in the previous tutorial we managed to get the bidirectional communications. If I can just run this program uh, right now you can see that there is an ongoing connection. So the Raspberry Pi is sending data and the Arduino is also replying with a tag on it. So if you want to get a uh, familiarity with the program, please watch the two, the, the three previous tutorial on this series. Right. In this tutorial, I would like basically just to improve this code. This is the code that is basically responsible for establishing the serial connection. Now, like the way it is, it will throw an exception if the serial port is not available. So basically the program will crash. So if I may stop this program now and then just remove the Arduino from the Raspberry Pi and run it again, you will see that there will be an exception that will be thrown. So the exception is that we could not connect with the serial port, right? We can't open the port. So that's a problem. Now, the reason is because it is not available. So you want a code that will be able to check, okay, there is no serial port available. So what do I do? Instead of crashing, it can safely exit and, and just quit the program. Right. So that's what we, we're going to do just by improving this piece of code here. Now in Python, we do error handling by inserting your block of code into a try and catch statement or try and accept statement so that's basically what i'm going to do here okay so if i may just go under here now instead of writing it like this i'm going to now write it in a form of a function that will be dealing with the serial communication so to make things easy i'm going to basically define a new function and i'm going to call the function name serial connection right so there is no hiding so it's a serial connection and this serial connection will be accepting a parameter so the parameter that we want to pass in is going to be the comport so that's what we're going to pass so it's going to be a string so i'm just going to write comport here that's the parameter that we're going to pass um actually let's let me just make it short port okay and then i'm going to copy this string here right that is a comport that we're going to pass and i'm going to just create a variable here and this variable will just be called comport and then i will put this variable there okay so now i'm inside my function and i need to start writing parameters for my function so i can basically just take all these and push it in and then call the function but but this time around i'd like to improve the serial communication settings uh, more accurately the same way uh, if you go into your computers under your com port properties right you go to so this is for windows machine you're going to see these properties here you got the bit rates that's your board rate your data bits parity and stop bits and all of that so these are all the properties that allow your communications all right so now that i'm inside a function okay so you'll understand that in order to continue polling your serial connection checking if the connection is available you have to be running inside of a loop so we're going to run a while loop here and we're only going to exit that loop upon a successful serial communication and by the way guys if you like this tutorial or you find anything at all useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up just a thumbs up that would be highly appreciated and you are also welcome to subscribe to the channel so that you can continue to receive notification when new videos are uploaded thank you in advance all right now continuing under the world through loop here we basically going to now put our try uh catch block now this is not going to be a try catch but a try accept so that we can catch the exception right now let's first focus inside a try here now inside a try this is where we're going to be establishing the serial connection and once the communication have been established then we can break and get out of the while loop otherwise if the port is not available 
then we're gonna come inside the accept here and then do something and then try again right so that basically the whole full story but now like i said i'd like to include some of these properties into the serial port uh properties so i'm going to now create a variable so i'm gonna call this a global variable and i'll call it s s data now you'll uh, notice that it is the same variable that is actually here it's the same variable that is being used here so now i'm just putting it under now a global variable so that i can now initialize some of the properties so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to then say s data right s data is equal to serial dot serial right now this is basically just this line of code and we are passing all the properties here but this time around what i'm going to do i'm then going to say s data okay that port is equal to port now this is the parameter that the function will be uh, expecting so that will be your comport you're going to pass and that will be the comport right just like this one here and then the next parameter is obviously the board rate so we're gonna say s data dot board rate and that will be equal to 9600 so 9600 and then the next parameter s data dot byte size so byte size is going to be 8 and then the next parameter will be the parity right so s data dot parity is equal to parity underscore none right now these parameters once again they are defined here as you can see the parity is none now the next parameter will be the stop bit so again s data dot stop bit is equal to one s data dot timeout is equal to is equal to one just like we did define a previous timeout of one second as well there and then once we done that we can say s data dot dot open so we want now to open the serial port right now after opening the serial port now we just want to time out a little bit and wait for two seconds right now this is so that if they are some sort of gibberish into the port it can be ignored we just want to start receiving proper data so we're going to sleep here for two seconds well two seconds right and then after that i can basically just copy this okay because it's exactly the same thing i'm going to add there like that then we can say arduino is then connected right and then we can break out of that so once we break out then we know it's successful we get out of the while loop so now i can then take this out because we don't need it anymore okay so now in the exception part we basically need to just handle the exception itself so we're gonna say serial dot serial exception right like that and then we come into the serial exception what we want to handle now here we can basically pass a parameter to basically display this exception here instead of crashing we can just display it maybe we don't want to do that we actually want to write a humanly readable message here so what we're going to do we're just going to put a print here and in the print statement we're going to say that uh, well um what were they saying here could not open port so we can write the same thing we can say could not open serial port right just let's just add something they could not open serial port and then we're gonna write another print statement and in this print statement we're going to basically say well we are reconnecting so we are reconnecting and da 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 so reconnecting and then we need to just wait for uh, a second right time the sleep so that we can actually see uh, what we're doing there so we're going to sleep here for one second 
so and then these will return inside the while loop and do this over and over until we get a successful connection and then we're going to exit the function right okay so now the only thing that's left is basically calling this function so we're going to call this function just here right before we do the send data so i'm basically going to copy it as simple as that and here i'm going to write the com port so that is this variable the string that we're going to pass now let's attempt to run it and see if we are successful so i'm just going to save and run the program so what is going on here okay okay we are missing something here we should actually have serial dot parity because it is the properties of the serial port here so we have to have serial dot parity none just like we have serial dot serial which is a function where we are passing the parameters and that is exactly the same for the parity cool so now let's run it again and this time around i'm sure we should be good to go okay now it says we could not open a serial port reconnecting could not open a serial port reconnecting and as you can see the serial port is indeed not connected the arduino is off so now but you see the previous time when we tried to run it like this it actually crashed because it was nothing so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to connect it so it will continue searching hopefully this time it's going to find it there it is it find arduino connected and the code is uh, continuing to run and i've got my communications going on so it is that simple let me stop this code okay now let's say you are running and you're trying to reconnect and it's not connecting so basically the python script is just going to be running into this loop forever until you plug this usb port and then it establish the connection and then everybody is happy now let's say you don't want it to continuously just waiting trying to reconnect you can set up a timer or a counter something so that it can exit after some time you can give it a time you already got the one second that you are waiting here so you can basically just add a counter variable here so that will be something easy so you can basically just so maybe just add a variable and call it trying and initialize it to be equal to zero so trying is equal to zero and you come right here and you can just say trying okay plus equal to one so you are incrementing trying by one after every second so now you can then just come here and you're going to then just add an if statement you're going to say if trying right is equal to 10 seconds so you only want to try for 10 seconds if after 10 seconds nothing is happening you want to break you want to break out of your function right you want to exit so let's see if this is going to work and the other thing you can actually add as well is just to print the variable trying since it is you have to concatenate it into a string okay so since it is holding an integer variable so you just put it into a string and you can just pass trying there like that okay uh now let's disconnect here good and try to run let's see what we're gonna get okay so uh could not open serial port reconnecting six eight nine ten and boom it exit okay now we've got an issue we're getting the the exception obviously because we are breaking out of the function without the connection because the only time we are breaking is after the connection and we're executing the next code that's coming here now we are breaking going to the next code that is here without the serial port being open so which is a problem so to fix that we actually need to uh get out of the system 
so we can put a sus that exit instead okay sus that exit but to do this we need to import sus we need to import that library sus so if we do a sus import there and let's try again and see if we're going to get the same error again so reconnecting 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 eight nine ten boom okay so now you can see that we just exit and there was no issue and what you can also do just before exiting you can just print and basically just say exiting right just to make sure that uh, you are doing things properly okay so that will just print exiting and then your program will just shut down so we can try to do it here let's navigate into where that uh python script is located so that will be arduino right and into arduino arduino pi that's correct okay and from there we can basically just run the python the serial comes that pi something like that okay there it is could not open serial port could not open serial port running nine and 10 so yeah basically just exit and it seems like we did not uh, save there okay so let's run it again one more time we run the same script could not open serial port reconnecting could not open serial port reconnecting and then exiting and then we just went out and if you run it again and while it is trying to go through the 10 second you put your serial port or basically it find the connection and it's not going to exit it's actually connected and you've got your conversation now ongoing so that they are now streaming but now there's still going to be an issue here if let's say right now if we remove the port you can see it's going to throw another exception so now this is also a fix that you have to do in order to handle it so this is also a serial exception that have been thrown so basically now at every point in your function it is checking for the serial connection so you have to ensure that you can also handle it and that can also be solved by putting a try catch right now right now here into the send data we are doing a try catch for the keyboard interrupt you can wrap the whole thing for the serial uh communication as well okay so guys so this is it for this tutorial if you find anything useful please don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel and uh, gives it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more tutorial of this nature they will be coming more and more we're going to explore a lot of things about the raspberry pi and all its functionality together with the arduino all right so until next time cheers